Hey, hey, hey! So it's been about two months since I had my lipoma removed, so I thought we would do a quick update and show you guys what it looks like now. For those of you who are interested, I know it was kind of a graphic video. Um, I also know people really, some, some people really enjoy those kind of videos, but I wanted to show you what it looks like after about two months because it's been a radical change and yeah, so let's go and see what it looks like. Okay, we're going to look at the lipoma here. It's been about two months since I had it removed. There it is right there. It feels a lot smaller. It looks a lot smaller. Yeah. I mean, you can you can barely even tell that it's that the skin's raised. I mean, you can definitely see the discoloration where the cut was, but Well, and it feels smaller too. Um, you can't really tell it's there until you feel it. <clears throat> you can still feel it. It's like hard but squishy at the same time. Yeah. But it's definitely a lot smaller than it was. Yep. Okay. So that is what my lipoma looks like after two months. I do have to say um, it was about a week after I had it removed and um, you know, lipomas, they feel very firm right under the skin. It's like a knot under your skin. And it felt very firm about a week after. And I was getting like worried and concerned maybe that my doctor didn't remove all of it. I was like, am I going to have to go back? Are we going to have to revisit this? Like, what the heck? And I was like, well, I'm going to give it like a week. Let's let it heal a little bit. Let's see. Um, because I know with lipomas, um, when you get them removed, what happens is it leaves a hole in your flesh. And then the hole fills with like a gelatinous, like a jelly-like fluid, and um, which stays there. And then it kind of slowly gets reabsorbed by the body, reabsorbed by, the, by your body. Well, it, it felt harder like than it did before. And I was like, that's kind of weird. So I almost called my doctor and was like, um, what the heck? You know, I had you remove this. Like, did you even get it all? Like I was, I was getting upset and like worried. But I have to say, since then, I never, I didn't call my doctor, thank goodness, because I would have looked really stupid. Um, it's gone down quite a bit. As you can see, it looks a lot smaller. It, there is still, I feel like, a tiny bump. Um, and you can still feel it when you touch my back. And you can obviously see where the incision was made. But it looks a lot better. And I'm not somebody who is super, super concerned with how things look. You know, it was just getting to the point where it was like really itchy and I would have Jason scratch my back at night and it would be like so itchy. I would have to scratch on like scratch around the thing. In fact, I still do that because it's still, it's just a little bit. I'm like scratch around the thing, you know, around. Well, and I gave it different names too. Lindsay, the lipoma, um, Brittany, the bump, uh, Bertha, the bump, which I think is kind of suited. Um, but you know, it, it's, it's gone down quite a bit. So if you do have a lipoma, don't be afraid to go get it removed. Um, if you're concerned of wherever it is, if you're concerned with how it's going to look, my doctor was just, she's just a general of like family doctor. She's not a dermatologist. So she went and she did that and it was very, very quick. It was like 30 minutes, maybe. Um, and I think only that's only because she thought it was a cyst when she was going in to remove it. And then she started taking stuff out. She's like, Oh, this, this might actually be like fatty stuff. So like more like a lipoma instead of a, a cyst, which is a collection of dead skin cells, like underneath your skin, which is really nasty and disgusting. Also, and you should also not be afraid to get that removed either. Um, but like, if you have any skin concerns, definitely go see your doctor just because, you know, skin cancer is a thing and something that could be benign at first could turn into something cancerous later on if you let it go, depending on what it is. So I, I do urge you to go get it checked out. I was super, super scared about this to get it removed. 
it's turning out super well. Like it, and I even like looked it up online cause I'm that person. And it said it could take like nine months to a year for it to fully like disappear and like resorb. I'm actually really surprised because in the two months since I had it removed, it's like half the size that it was, if not smaller than that. So definitely go get those checked out. Don't be afraid. Um, you know, when I had that done, she did deaden the area with localized anesthetic, I guess you would call it. Um, so it was definitely an experience. And unfortunately, if you have one lipoma, there's a good chance you could have others in your lifetime. Um, it's just a thing, I guess. So I do have to, you know, watch that, but, um, I'm thankful I got it removed. I'm thankful that my doctor was good enough that she was able to remove it. Minimal scar. Like I said, I'm not too concerned with how it appears, but you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing to me because I can look at it and I can see, like, you can barely see that it's there. I think that's really remarkable, you know, considering how like big it was before and, um, how annoying it was before. But anyway, <sighs> like this video, if you like this video, subscribe, if you haven't already ring that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video, because you never know what kind of content is going to pop up over here on this channel. I thank y'all so, so much for watching. I love y'all very, very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.